This is the optional extra clip-on hardtop that goes on the 67 Duetto Spider behind me. Now, these are a pretty rare thing to have. Not that many spiders got these from the, the factory, so it's a really cool thing to have, but it's a really difficult thing to restore. It's kind of, it's been a little bit tricky so far. I've got it stripped down completely. Still, it, it still has a lot of glue and old vinyl and stuff stuck to it. So it's gonna need a lot of work and I've gotta get the rivets out from under it and get all the old sealing off. There's still some work here. And I have a whole bunch of stuff on the workbench over there that needs to be painted and recovered and polished and, and cleaned up. So between this and all that stuff to get this thing back in order, I've got a fair amount of work ahead of me. So I'm gonna get started with getting all the glue and stuff off of this, getting the rivets out so I can give it a fresh coat of paint. So we'll have something to stick the new vinyl top onto. All right. This is just some hardware store paint stripper. I found it's been the best thing to get this old contact adhesive and vinyl off um, once I peeled the, the old vinyl skin off. And it's a pretty unpleasant thing, but it's just a lot of uh, yeah chemical paint stripper and time and elbow grease and. Uh, yeah, we should have this thing pretty clean, and then um, go from there. Right, so I've now got the, the hard top shell, this fiberglass shell, in pretty good shape. It took a little bit of work to sort it out. There was like a crack on the underside, on the headliner that I didn't notice until um, I really had a close look. And that I first tried to fix it with fiberglass, didn't work. Um, and then I used a two part epoxy filler, a flexible epoxy, and that seemed to take pretty well. Yeah, and then with just a little bit of uh, polyurethane spot filler on top of that, it smoothed out pretty well, so it's a pretty good repair. Something I didn't really think about was that on the C pillars, where the um, where the window frames bolt in, all those rivets, when you drill them out, the back of the rivets fall into the hardtop and it's hollow. So you could hear them rattling about. So what I had to do is drill a big hole in the bottom of the C pillar on one side and then like shake this roof up until they all eventually fell out. Um, so now it's nice and quiet and it's not gonna rattle. Uh, so that brings us to the, the exciting part, the part that I've been wanting to get to for a couple of days now, and that is putting this new vinyl covering on the, on the hardtop. So the underside is painted in 2K satin black and it looks really good, but the top side just has a light coat of that, um, just to give it a clean surface to bond this onto. I think I've never done anything like this before, so I'm going to give this my best shot and see if I can get this vinyl on and looking good but I think it might be a little bit of a challenge. So yeah, we'll see how this goes.
Right, now that I've got the vinyl skin on this hard top and all trimmed, trimmed up and with all the, the uh, stainless steel trim attached, this roof is looking really, really nice. It's nice and smooth and consistent and um, it looks really sharp. I'm really looking forward to seeing it on the car. But all this brings me to the most difficult thing, which is refitting that rear windshield. And um, although I managed to get it out of this roof, um, <clears throat> with minimal trouble, I think getting it back in is going to be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to, that's why it's on this workbench. I'm going to see if I can set this up in such a way that I can get access to that rear windshield in here. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's give it a go. I think um, this one might be a bit tricky. Right, so I've got the windshield in this thing, and it took quite a lot of um, quite a lot of fiddling to get it into place because the rubber in this thing's a little bit old, and the trick of putting a wire in it and then pulling it out as you go around, um, it actually started tearing the gasket in a couple of places. So I ended up doing it the a little bit more of a, a tricky way, which is just levering it with the, like a screwdriver all the way around, and I don't recommend doing that. But it worked out in the end and it's in. And uh, yeah, maybe one day if I find a replacement rubber gasket made for these things, maybe I'll replace it, but for now it's fine. Anyway, now that that's in, I'm, I'm gonna put this thing on the workbench and we can do all the stuff on the underside and put the side windows in. Then we're almost done. All right, so now that I've got the windows in both sides, it's time to do this trim, which goes along here and here and covers the B pillar. And uh, originally I was just gonna paint it because it's like a plastic trim that has like a vinyl pressing on it. But I figured, because a lot of it was a little bit beat up, um, the best thing to do would be to cover it in vinyl as well. So that's what I've done and it all looks pretty good. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick this together and uh, almost done. Right, so that hard top is finally done and finally on the car. I have to admit, I got halfway through lifting that onto the car and kind of realized I'd made a huge mistake because that, that top, when it's all assembled, is really, really heavy and awkward. You can't really grab it properly. But I figured, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, I might as well try to get it on. And I managed to get it on without damaging anything, so that's good. 
Yeah, overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. There are a couple of things here and there that I'm gonna have to go back to and adjust. Like, yeah, like the seals around the top of the windows, I might have to make some adjustments to get the doors to shut properly, and I need to make some proper clamps that hold this down onto the convertible soft top frame. So I'll get around to that at another, at another point in time. But yeah, overall, I'm super happy with how this project turned out. I'm not an upholsterer, so this has been a real challenge learning to work with vinyl and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, I think it turned out looking really nice. And uh, now I can get on to some other stuff in the car. So anyway, I'm gonna leave this here for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.